I am a hospice advocate. 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 I'm a hospice advocate. We are a C4 organization dedicated to advocating for the mission of hospice and palliative care. Uh, we train advocates to meet with their representatives here in Washington, D.C. to help out providers and, and push our message. If you're interested in getting involved with Han, you can visit our website, hospiceactionnetwork.org, and sign up to be an advocate. From there, you can take our action alerts on issues that are relevant to you, to the hospice you might work for, or your community. And there's so many different ways to get involved, from sending a letter, to a tweet, to an email, uh, to hosting a member of Congress in your backyard. And the Hospice Action Network here is here to help you succeed. Hospice advocacy to me is the opportunity to speak for the patients and families who can't speak for themselves right now. They're obviously going through a very critical stage of life and need the support and services that hospice can provide. And so our ability to go and advocate on their behalf is extremely important to have their voices heard. I think Han has helped us to be front and center in the policy development in hospice and palliative care. As one of the founding members of the Hospice Action Network, we've had great success and have found Han to be of great value to us. You know, for a first time advocate, I feel that it is important that one, they know that they have a place. If you work in our industry of hospice and end of life care, palliative care, uh, this is the space uh, to give them the opportunity to share their voice and recognize that they can make a difference. The best thing that hospice and palliative care professionals can do to help hospice is to advocate for hospice. And the Hospice Action Network, or HAN, has many opportunities to make that happen. Their role in advocacy and working with legislators to affect legislation that really does make a difference is the best way that professionals and people who are working in the field can make a difference in the care that is delivered in the community. I am a big believer in allowing individuals to die with dignity and grace and I think there's no better way to uh, promote that, um, that benefit that is given to you know, Medicare beneficiaries um, by being, taking an active role in an active sense and um, not just my organization, but as it relates to health policy on a national level, on a federal level. As hospice care providers, I think it is imperative that we take an active role in becoming a part of the solution and not the problem. I think we all have a responsibility as leaders within this community to really take a stance so that we can offer our expertise, our experiences and our knowledge within this industry to be able to be a part of the solution. There's an old saying in Washington that uh, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And we wanna make sure that does not happen. So it's critical for us to really educate members of Congress, educate their staff on what hospice is, the value of it, and ways that they can engage with their community and their local hospices. It's a critical time right now to get involved, and so we're calling all advocates to reach out to their members on behalf of hospice and palliative care. There's a lot of value to being a member of Han, from our expert lobbyists and advocacy experts here in Washington to helping you install a culture of advocacy within your own organization. You know, we will help you build bridges to your members of Congress and your senators and that they understand the true value that you deliver within their community and we can build a better hospice for tomorrow.